Welcome to episode 5 of our YouTube series on building a fashion brand. In this video, we'll be discussing the world of 3D design and what can be used for in creating and developing your fashion brand. 3D design is a very powerful tool that can help fashion designers and designers in general to bring their ideas to life in a digital format. By creating a virtual samples and prototypes of their products, designers can experiment with different colors, textures, different shapes before committing to physical prototypes. By creating virtual samples and prototypes of their products, designers can experiment with different colors, textures and shapes before committing to physical prototypes. This not only saves money and time, but allows designers to be more innovative and experimental with their designs. One of the most significant advantages of 3D design is that it can help fashion brands speed up the production process. By using 3D software to create virtual samples, designers can create and test a range of designs much faster than they would with physical prototypes. This means that they can get their products to market much faster, keeping up with the fast pace of the fashion industry. Another factor or advantage of 3D design is that it can help fashion brands to create a more sustainable and eco-friendly product. That can be done through the use of different materials and texture in a virtual format, minimizing like so waste and reducing significantly physical prototypes. So, as we all know, sketches are most of the time beautiful but when you bring to life your sketches whether you use a factory or multiple factories or you do um, with a team of people prototypes and samples in your studio of course and um, there is always something to change there is always something to be adjusted or it could be a size of a bag it could be some finishing it could be uh, the color of a garment or any kind of you know fashion item and of course there are many other things that you might want to change and and it's a long process so sometimes it's, you know more direct to um, have 3d designs where it's possible of course when it's possible too because time is money as well nothing can really be done and and be brought to life with no um, things to change, no uh, design um, amendments and so on. So um, through the use of 3D uh, software and, and through the use of um, you know, visual designs in 3D, we can save quite a bit of time, quite a bit of money, uh, quite a bit of uh, up and down between uh, studios and factories because often um, you um, you know you would imagine uh, your design would come um, you know amazing and uh, impeccable and perfect perfect size and so on but often and um, this is very um, common is the daily basis often you will need to review your designs and you will need to adjust a few um, few bits and bobs and when it comes to dresses you might want to change something or um, the color doesn't work or anything like that so uh, that's why I'm uh, very um, myself and my team very um, um, focused and very much orientated towards um, technology and uh, visualizing our collection collections as well um, through um, 3D software of course also an uh, illustration as well but 3D software it's like the best because 3D software helps you to um, visualize the item front and back and as well you can amend the 
virtual sample and trying to reduce the first of all the um, the footprint which is as we know quite bad for a planet and as well uh, it's cost effective because of course when you send items um, to factories of course there is a price to pay for um, you know um, the delivery uh, bringing it back to your studio and so on so this way at least in my studio we have reduced like massively footprint uh, the cost of you know sending samples and you know sketches with all the um, information for the factory to um, put together the um, the design and products of course we are um, I have to say extremely happy to um, have embraced and um, it's long time now this technology and this way to work because it really helps you to focus to be more like direct to um, amendments changes and so on so i really recommend to be technological guys designers fashion designers and entrepreneurs as well and so you really need to uh, master this 3D uh, design uh, skill because yes, it's a long curve learning. However, once you learned, you know your your life will be easier because you will control. I'm not going to say everything, but you you will have much more control of your um, your designs, your uh, ideas, your production, how you want the things to be produced, uh, the the result you expect, and so on. Okay, so now we can briefly touch base on software to design in 3D. So the list is really long, so be prepared. It, it's very long, and probably there are even more software that we, we have here on the list software we didn't test yet software that are coming out now and they will be popular probably soon and so on so to give you an idea i've got at least um, like 20 25 um, software here so for instance there is autodesk 3ds max um which I'm still trying to figure out um, if it's going to be helpful for for what we do. So I'm still trying to um, test in it. Then there is Autodesk Maya Blender, which we have tried. We use some time. Cinema 4D that we love, love, love. And we are studying Cinema 4D to create not only products, um, but um, with Cinema 4D, you can create adverts for your brand. You can create uh, simulations of, I don't know, a product uh, flying in the sky. Uh, you can create a campaign and, and you can do a mixture of reality and 3D design in all in one with Cinema 4D and of course a bit of and expertise, a bit of skills. So then we got Houdini or Houdini, SketchUp, which we use, uh, ZBrush, which we use, and Modo, which we have used, and we still, you know, trying to familiarize with Modo and see how it's gonna, you know, work for us in our daily basis. Then we have Lightwave 3D, Poser, never tried it, uh, Daz Studio, Substance Designer, Substance Painter, Sculptress, which I never tried, Moodbox, Marvelous Designer, Keyshot, which is um, one of my favorite 
and is really easy and to use and of course you you're not going to learn it in five minutes everything can be done in five minutes it takes time to learn it it takes it takes time of course it takes time however Keyshot is one of the software we use and quite often uh, for renderings because it's professional it's fun it's uh, very and um, once you know how to use it it's really easy to use it and you can produce amazing um, stuff with a very short time so um, then we have Unreal Engine SolidWorks which I never tried it and D5 which I've tried is fantastic and D5 um, there is also a free version which is absolutely incredible so um, keeping going we have Rhino or Rhinoceros 3D which we have and we use as well Mozart which is a software designed specifically for bugs and we all know Mozart I mean people working in this field in the leather bags or bags and probably accessories as well. Mozart is a fantastic software to um, design and extract patterns that can be used for production, of course, or to um, even to the uh, laser cut of bags or even um, cutting machine like industrial cutting machine that can read that specific. Um, format. Then we have, the list is not finished yet, then we have Clo 3D which is a fashion design software that allows you to create garments and 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 fabrics. Can simulate the 3D models and can produce realistic renders. Then we have another one which is Browseware which is a, a fashion design software as well that works as well with fabrics, colors, and can help you with technical specification for production. Then the last one of my list is Opitex, which as well, we all know, I mean, people working in my field and um, like designing and producing themselves, they know this software, which is a software that allows designers to create digital patterns it does 3D samples, virtual samples as well. And it's really good for the simulation of the behavior of, you know, fabrics. And you can, you can um, make it softer. You can go for a stiffer um, material and so on. So it's a really good one and I really recommend it. So um, that was my list very long. So as you probably can imagine, um, it would take me forever to um, pick each and every single one of this long list of 3D software and testing them and, and showing you how it works, etc. So um, what I will do instead is I will try to delve deep uh, episode by episode and um, picking uh, the, I'm not going to say the most relevant because I guess they are all good um, within the purpose uh, that is going to be useful or within you know your needs and how you're going to use the program and what's for etc. So I guess they are all good. It's only a matter of which one is the uh, the one that will help you to uh, you know. Uh, build your brand, uh, create your collections, produce your collection and be on the top of your things in control, which is very important. And I say this in every single video I film. So knowledge, 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 you have to be on the top of everything. So um, I really hope you have enjoyed this episode of today and remember 
if you will subscribe, you will um, help me to generate more videos to help entrepreneurs, fashion designers, fashion curious and um, fashion um, fashionistas, you know, fashion people and people that, you know, like to learn and become more skilled. So your help is paramount in this. So please subscribe. I'll see you in my next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.